Hello everyone, my name is Alvar Dura and today we're gonna talk about Transformers. Wait a minute! I'm talking about these Transformers, the ones that are used on tube amplifiers or valve amplifiers for electric guitars. For the ones who don't know, the Transformer is the most expensive part in the amplifier, which uses two of them. The first one is the power transformer, which takes the current from the wall and fits the different elements in the circuit. And the second one is the output transformer, which is very important because it takes the guitar signal coming out of the power tubes and turn it into low impedance to drive the speaker. Therefore, the sound and feel that you get from the amplifier, as well as compression and frequency response, are gonna be directly related to it. So, today, we have two different output transformers and here are the specs. Alright, one thing I want to mention is that we're gonna use an amplifier that is loaded with a couple of EL84 power tubes. Normally, for an amp like that, you would expect an output transformer with a primary impedance winding um, between 5 kilo ohm or 4 kilo ohm up to 9 kilo ohm. And in this case, the stock transformer is way below the range, it's just 3.6 kilo ohm, and that is quite odd. Now, if we look at the pictures, we'll see that the stock transformer is a little bit larger and a little bit heavier than the um, Hammond and we can also see that the construction is different, materials are different stock transformer is more like the typical nowadays output transformer you find on any, any amplifier uh, the Hammond is more like vintage, it has its different design, it has like a paper around the bobbins. In order to hear the differences between these two transformers, I recommend you to use high quality speakers, headphones or studio monitors. There you have them. There's a big differences in sound between these two transformers. Um, I'm not gonna say which one is better because that depends on the your playing style or the kind of sound you're looking for. Um, what I can say is that the stock transformer is like fissier on the top end, it has more treble. The Hammond transformer, on the other hand, it sounds a little bit cleaner to my ear, like less harsh than the stock transformer. Another thing I noticed was the compression on the low frequencies. Hammond transformer has more headroom for bass compared to the stock transformer. 
These differences can be good or bad depending on the situation. For example, for lower game settings, I prefer the Hammond Transformer because it has more headroom, it has more clarity. But for higher gains, I prefer the Stock Transformer because it compresses the bass, makes it sound tighter and is not as floppy as the Hammond. Well, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you like it. My name is Oliver Dura and I started this YouTube channel for rock guitar players. So if you are one of those guys that want to know everything about guitars, about pedals, about amplifiers, about famous rock bands and how they get their sound, for the next weeks we're going to be analyzing those rock bands. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. Thank you very much. You have a good one.